My father was a migrant mine worker. He went to South Africa for the first time in 1927, before the establishment of the borders between the two countries, Mozambique and South Africa. I just followed his path. I joined mining industry in 1990, and I worked in the mines for, for seven years. There are many connections between employment and migration. When we look at a number of migrants uh, that are there across the world, we see that most of them actually move to find employment or to work. When there was a war in Mozambique, it was not possible to produce. There were no agricultural activities. The only thing the people that could do was to migrate to Zimbabwe and South Africa, alternatively, to get the job and see if they can feed back uh, the, the, the families. So I was one of those who migrated. But after the war, I decided to come back. During the time I've been working in the mining industry, I came to realize that uh, as Mozambican migrant mine workers, we do not uh, have pension fund, we do not contribute legally for pension fund. Sometimes we, have, we are facing uh, different laws uh, from the countries of origin and the working country. There is no proper channels to send back the monies that you are being deducted from the country where you are working. Together with the other friends we tried to find out what would be the solution for getting ourselves uh, forming an association that would uh, deal for the interests and the rights of migrant mine workers in Mozambique. The Voices from the Underground project really came about being pushed and promoted through the excellent work that was being done by Moisesh and his team. Uh, to promote and uh, really raise awareness of this challenge that was faced by Mozambican mine workers, which you know doesn't just impact individual mine workers, but has an enormous impact on their family and on the communities, both of origin and of destination. In the voices from underground, the main object was a capacity building and to bring the mine workers to understand their rights and where to go to claim for their social security benefits. Até onde eu sei, os, as, as associações dos mineiros servem como elo de ligação entre a entidade patronal e o governo e os próprios trabalhadores. Então, elas são muito importantes na difusão da informação. Como podemos perceber, a classe mineira é vasta, são muitos mineiros. Então, e uma informação perturbada pode chegar a vários mineiros em pouco tempo e pode criar distúrbios entre eles. Então, a, as associações são muito mais para garantir que a informação chegue em tempo útil e da forma correta. The Voices from Underground Project is the project that has helped a lot the association, the mining communities, and the region. We worked to find out what were the main challenges that the mine workers' families were facing. There were messages that were explaining what funds are there in South Africa, and each fund, what is there for. That has helped a lot for the mine workers to know the different funds that are there in South Africa and their rights. Migrant workers can make an important contribution to sustainable development and to economic growth, but only if their human rights and their rights as workers are protected, only if they can access decent work and work under safe working conditions. Migration to South Africa has helped a lot, the country and the migrants themselves. The mine workers manage 
to educate their children through their migration results. The remittances that are sent by the migrant are very significant in the GDP of the country. So it's quite significant for our country.